Chimney fires are some of the most difficult types of fires that we fight. Fortunately, we've added some new equipment on the truck and engine three to help us fight those fires. It's a small compact package that's stored in the right rear compartment of both the truck and also engine three. It divides into two separate pieces, a roof equipment bag that includes a chimney snuffer, bombs, chains, and a mirror and the inside bag that includes large bucket mirror and a small shovel. You also have tarps and a few other pieces of equipment. This would be a small scenario using the new chimney equipment. Firefighters are gonna dismount the truck and gather the proper equipment. One firefighter will grab the water can and the ABC extinguisher. And the second firefighter will grab the tarps and the new chimney equipment kit. The firefighters should remember to have a thermal imaging camera with them to check for hot spots because if a chimney fire gets outside of the flue, we now have a house fire. Firefighters are going to work together. First, they're going to check the inside to verify that we do have a chimney fire. So they're going to take the equipment apart, leaving the roof stuff outside and taking the interior equipment inside. If you hear a roaring sound coming from a flue, that's a telltale sign of a chimney fire. Firefighters are going to come in. They're going to lay out their tarp in front. We want to make sure to protect the property as much as possible because these are generally not high damage fires and we want to try to keep it that way for the homeowner. Once they have the tarp laid out, they're going to identify that they do have a chimney fire and they're going to proceed to put the fire out in the firebox. Generally, you can do this with a small little bit of water from a pressurized water can with just enough water to put out the fire without producing too much steam. They're going to take the fire logs out of the firebox and put them in the new container and check up the flue with a mirror to see if there's a fire in the flue. If there is a fire in the flue and it's drafting properly, the firefighter can use the ABC extinguisher up the flue in order to put the majority of the fire out. If it's not drafting properly, and that generally indicates that there's a clog. You remove all of the other ashes that are out of the bottom of the firebox. And if there is a clog, we're going to head to the roof, preferably using an aerial or ground ladders to have a solid platform to work off of. Firefighters are going to ascend the aerial using the chimney equipment. For this scenario, we omitted the chimney snuffer because we've already gone over that piece of equipment, but I'll just remember that is a piece of equipment that we have in our cache and we're able to use that if we need to. For this scenario, we obviously don't have a chimney here at the firehouse, so we're just using the generator pen as our chimney. So once the firefighters get to the end of the stick, they're going to check down the flue with the mirror, being careful not to put your head over top of the flue, and they're going to use one of the chimney bombs drop through the flue just to extinguish the fire that's in the flue. They're going to take the weight and chain out of the bucket, make sure the bucket's securely placed on either the ladder or the roof, lower the weight and the chain down, and you may feel some resistance, so you may have to pick the chain up and down as you do that. And when you bring the chain back up, this is the most important thing, is to make sure you put the hot chain back into the metal bucket, because we don't want to leave snake marks across the chimney and across the roof. The interior team is going to pick up all of the burnout creosote and ash out of the firebox, putting it back into the interior. And that's pretty much about it. Lather, rinse, repeat. So here's once more our roof equipment, including the chimney snuffer and the interior equipment. Just remember that we got to make sure to check the house with a tick on all levels of the house to make sure that there's been no extension. And the ideal goal here is to use no water at all, but to extinguish the fire and remove the fire from the firebox and obviously refer the homeowner to a professional chimney sweep before they start having a fire in the firebox again. Thanks everyone. If you have any questions, see one of us on A-Shift.